One of the things I think is most interesting about your background is that you grew up reading crime novels, yes. or in the United States we would have said mysteries. Yes, exactly. I grew up reading, you know, Nancy Drew, Trixie Belden. You grew up reading the, the fabulous, Danish version. Yes, and yes. the fabulous five. Do you, now, what do you call it? The, the, the five, no, the four kids and the dog, Ernit Blyton. Yes. yes. And she's English and she's writing all these mysteries for children. And I was pretending I was one of them. And there was a reporter asked me, but who, who of them could you identify with? I think I could identify with all of them, even the dog. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> well, I identified with Trixie Belden and Nancy Drew also, <laughs> and we'd go out with my friends and create our mysteries. It's, it's another indication of how important reading is for young people. And I also read that you loved that your mother came in and read to you. Yes. And read Agatha Christie. Exactly. And, and you know, maybe you have some thoughts about how important it is for us to be sure that, to encourage reading in all young children. I'm trying, I'm trying to encourage as much as I can. But did you ever, when you were a young child reading these crime novels and mystery books, did you ever think you'd write them one day? Never, ever. Never, ever. And, and it's, it's, it's a bit strange to say now, I've just finished my book number seven. It was never in my mind. Uh, the part I was enjoying was reading and put myself into the detective's role. And it has always been the, the way to be, um, uh, to be entertained and to put myself into a role where I could be the heroine. And now that you're doing it, is this just the best job ever? Ever. Ever. <laughs> I am on... And, and I, it is the best job.